Hello, I am Marcel from Motor Music uh, and we have a new firmware upgrade ready for the DR2 OS 9. Uh, this firmware upgrade contains two big novelties. Uh, one, there are some probability randomization functions now. Uh, and two, there is a new snare model uh, inspired somewhat by the 808 snare. Uh, there are also a few minor uh, improvements. Uh, there is a step copy-paste function. Uh, you can copy-paste uh, single sequencer steps, including their parameter locks. Uh, there is MIDI and RPN support, so the parameters that were previously inaccessible uh, via MIDI uh, control changes, they now can be accessed using NRPNs. Uh, and there is an instrument lock uh, function. Uh, let's have a look what it means. The instrument lock function. Uh, when you are jamming a bit on the DR2, finger drumming like this for example, uh, you can see that the focus of the DR2, uh, the focus of all these controls over here and of the um, sequencer line, uh, constantly switches between different drums. If you now keep the drum set button down and hit one of the instrument buttons, this instrument is locked and so the focus stays on this instrument. So for example you can alter one of its parameters like this. If you want to remove the focus, just do the same way. The step copy paste, uh, we'll show it on our bass drum over here. Uh, this bass drum line has four drum hits, 1, 5, 9, 13, and then there is a beta drum hit on 15 over here. Let's hear it. Now let's say for example we want to, to copy this step 15 over here, keep the step button down, hit record to copy, and then hit another, uh, then keep another step button down and hit play to paste. And you see we copied step 15 to step 4. Uh, eventual parameter locks on this step are copied along. Then the randomization or probability functions. Uh, we'll show it on our instrument B, snare drum over here. Uh, first select a randomization type by keeping the random button down and hitting alpha. We put the randomization type to add. That means that the sequencer is going to randomly add uh, drum hits to the existing ones on 5 and 13. You can also select sub. That means that the sequencer is only randomly removing already programmed drum hits. Or you can put it at switch. That means that the sequencer can both add and remove drum hits. We put it at add now and get the sequencer playing. So nothing is happening yet. Now we increase the random probability by keeping the random button down and turning up select. So the sequencer is now randomly adding uh, drum hits. Uh, let's program a few extra drum hits and put the randomization type to sub. Well, our drum sequence sounds like this. Now let's improve probability so the sequencer will start removing drum hits. These uh, probability types can be uh, applied to both alpha and beta drum hits. Now for the beta drum hits the randomization was off so that it, the sequencer doesn't generate beta drum hits. Um, so you can use it for alpha drum hits, beta drum hits and also for accents so that the sequencer can randomly add or remove accents uh, you already programmed. Uh, so let's hear it on this one. We'll put alpha and beta randomization off. So we play just the programmed sequence, but we'll randomly add 
actions every now and then. Without randomization, it sounds like this. And now we add some randomization. So now the sequencer is randomly adding uh, accent hits. All right, then the new electro snare drum model. Mm, the electro snare drum uses two sine wave oscillators uh, and one snare noise oscillator. The X parameter over here controls the balance between the two oscillators and the snare noise. And the Z parameter controls the balance between the two oscillators. Two oscillators that are roughly an octave apart. Um, the Y parameter controls the decay length uh, of the snare noise. Uh, then the T parameter over here is a bit more subtle. Uh, it sets the length of a pulse that sounds at the beginning uh, of the snare sound, uh, a pulse that strikes the two sine wave oscillators to start oscillating. Uh, so this T parameter has its influence in the transient sound at the, at the very beginning of the electro snare drum. Uh, and in addition to this, the electro snare drum uh, also has an increased pitch envelope amount uh, to make some kind of a zap or a snap style snare drum sounds. Uh, Let's hear it. that's it. Uh, you can find all the necessary files in the download section on our website. Uh, users that upgrade from OS 6 or uh, earlier versions don't forget to install the new bootloader. Thanks for watching!